Hey everybody, thanks for coming fishing with me today. Today's going to be brush pile fishing. And uh, we found, I found a bunch of fish on a few brush piles out in some deeper water than I expected today. You can see them all floating around right here on top of this brush pile. And watch what happens when I bring my lure over them. Right there, you just barely see it still, right there. Here it comes. There he is. Got him. They, they hit it. So, uh, you guys will notice the view is a little different today, right? I'm in a different boat. This is my new boat. Um, and I was out here breaking in the motor, um, you know, getting my first 10 hours in. And while I was doing it, I decided to take it to a new lake that I haven't been to for a long time, uh, Caney Lake uh, in northeast Louisiana. And uh, I did some mapping while I was out here so that I wasn't wasting my time while I was breaking in the motor. I was actually mapping the lake, finding some new spots. And when I ran across this spot right here, I, I had to check it out. So <laughs> I I stopped and dropped some lures down here. And uh, there, you saw that one? He shot out of there. I didn't know what that was, but... Uh, <laughs> watch when I pull him in I mean he shot out of that pile it's a little large mouth like a tiny look at him but man he shot it when he saw that jig come through there he shot shot out of there <laughs> and got it but this spot was just loaded down with fish and I didn't know what all it was first one I caught off there was a crappie second one was a large mouth and so I'll go over to the original audio to show you what I caught next and uh and I changed up my, my tactics after this catch right here. That's a brim. <laughs> There's one I've been having problems catching them. It's not all crappie. It's a good size brim. Real good size. Eating size one right there. We keeping him. And so once I figured out there were a lot of those bigger brim down there, um, I, I swapped over to a 164th ounce uh, jig and put on some of my smallest um, smallest plastics I could find, and it was game on from from then on. There there are a lot of smaller crappie in here too. Um, but once I started catching the brim, I was keeping the smaller crappie also, not, you know, within reason. There were a few tiny ones I threw back, but um, I, I, a lot of smaller fish in this this bed here. But there were there were a few few good ones too. Watch them all. Look at them chasing it down. There it goes. When on the drop is when they seem to hit it the most. Look at them chasing it. Right there. So whenever I would I'd bring it up through the pile or come across the top of it they didn't seem to hit it near as aggressive as when I would drop it and on that drop I would almost always get a, a good reaction bite this is there's a smaller crappie right there like I said a lot of these out here were smaller um, the ones I was finding on these piles today right in this area but that's okay I they they eat good too and this this one's dropping through I was kind of working the pile over, so you know it, when the ones up top stopped biting, I started kind of raking along the towards getting closer to the brush, and you know there were some bigger fish down in there, but this was a neat little spot right here. And like I said, I got this this new boat, and I was breaking the motor, <clears throat> kind of going around the lake to some spots I'd known from before, and that's a good crappie right there. That's one of the bigger ones for you know what I caught out here today. But I was mapping everything, and you know when I came across this spot and I saw all the little shadows on my side scan sonar, you know I I stopped to check it out and look at that fish up there. He he darted like I didn't know what that was, but man, he came in aggressive chasing it. And as soon as it hit the water, I thought that may have been a small like largemouth, but he never did. He's not the one that got it in the end. There's the other one. <clears throat> And I think that's what a lot of them up there were. The one, the bigger ones up top, I think a lot of those are smaller, like largemouth. There's another brim right there. And you, you guys will hear me call these brim, like bluegill, pumpkin seed, uh, a lot of those. Um, different, different, you know, they're different types of sunfish, but 
in my family, we've always just called them brim, just in general. If it's not a crappie or a bass, it's one of those sunfish, you know, different types of sunfish, we've always just called them brim. So that's, um, you know, that's not me not knowing there are different types of sunfish and not calling them by the right name. It's just, we just always have called them brim. So they're delicious, all of them. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's what we call them. Here comes one. That's a better mark. He's got it right now, but I don't know it. There he is. <clears throat> and so with live scope, there's a little bit of delay. You guys will notice that sometimes they'll uh, they'll bite it, and you'll see a little bit of delay from me setting that hook. There's a little bit of delay on that live scope screen. And so I've got like a, I don't know, I'd say three quarters of a second, maybe half second delay. And, um, you know, a lot of times I don't see it. And what's bad about the, the live scope screen is that you're paying attention to that screen and you're not watching your line, right? Because normally if I'm if I'm not watching the screen, if I'm doing some other type of fishing, I'm watching my line, you know, for any little twitches to set that hook. But here, you see me, I'm staring at that screen. I'm not going to see my line twitch. And so if I don't feel it, I'm not setting that hook. I'm watching that, you know. That's the downside to the screen right there is you don't, you know, you, you may miss some hook sets because of it. I, I mean, I still wouldn't trade it for <laughs> <laughs> for you know the few hook sets I might miss, but but that is one negative there is you know you're paying attention to the screen and you're not it looks like the screen kind of froze up here for a second and it's not live scope itself that's freezing up it's my recording that's freezing up so that's it it just whatever I'm using to record is uh it glitches occasionally and I'll have these these little moments where it'll it'll freeze up the screen itself works fine on the actual unit but the recording does not. It was a beautiful day out here, though. I, 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 you know, I got several hours of motor break-in done and uh, found a bunch of new spots that were holding a lot of crappie. A lot of stuff's in shallow. Obviously, spawn's going on right now. Um, a lot of largemouth in the shallows, a lot of crappie in the shallows. But um, while I was, you know, when I found this spot, I just knew I could catch some dinner, and I sure did. I wound up with, uh, that's a good one there. He, no, that's not a good one. I think that's that's the one I threw back. <laughs> this, you said it's a very tiny crappie. So, uh, if I threw a, a few back like they were like that, but <laughs> and you can see, you know, I was trying different approaches for these fish up top. Those are the ones I wanted. They looked a little a little bigger, and so those are the ones I was trying to get. Um, but a lot of them were uninterested. So I was trying different approaches on them, dropping on them, breaking it across, and I think this worked right here. Yeah, you can see him. There he is. Yeah. <clears throat> dropping through them seemed to do better than just about anything else. Um, coming in from the sides and slowly coming across the top was not working. Dropping through them was getting that re reaction bite. So I did that quite a bit. But I had a great time. It, this uh, this new boat is, it's a, a very different different ball game. It's a big pontoon. It's a like a Ranger 200F uh, pontoon boat, and uh, it much more comfortable fishing out. Of it. I'm not getting rid of my old boat. I'll still fish out of it, most likely all the time on Darbo because of all the stumps. But um, this uh, this new one is much more comfortable to fish out of, and I'll be able to take a lot more family and friends out um, with me. In, in this thing than in the other one. There he is. And so that one down there close to the bottom, I, you know, he this is a, a decent sized one, I, if I remember correctly. I'll see. Yeah, so that, you know, not a big one, probably an 8 inch crappie. But that was good for today, for this pile. Um, that was that was pretty good. I don't mind smaller, I know a lot of guys are. A lot of states have different rules on, you know, what size crappie you can keep and whatnot. This lake has none of those kind of rules, and so you know, it's you just have your your limit, which I think is 50 here. Which, yeah, well, I might could have hit it today, but I wasn't trying to hit it. I was just trying to catch enough for for a dinner, which I did. I think I wound up with 10 crappie and four um, four brim. No large mouth large enough to actually keep and eat, but a few smaller largemouth also. 
I can just barely see it right here. I, I think I'd lost it on my actual screen at this time. Yeah, okay. So I pulled it back up because I lost track of it, right? And so I didn't know where it was. I pulled it back up so I could see it, and then I just dropped it through the middle, hoping that something would hit it, and it sure did. That's what I, A lot of times that's what I do on these brush piles like this. You, know, you can't keep up with exactly where your jig is, your lure is. You don't know. There's too much going on down there. Um, and so... You know, you just drop it through the middle and wait for something to wait for something to smack it. That's you know, you don't you don't really get to watch the whole thing happen every time, but um, but it's still a lot of fun. Like I said, these fish up top, you can see they're better marks. Those are the ones I wanted to bite. There he is. But I think those up top, I think those are largemouth. A lot of them. Um, you see this right here? That's a largemouth bass. It's a small one. And so I think that's what's going on there, is that those are largemouth up top, just kind of patrolling on top of this uh, brush pile. But they, you know, just like all largemouth, they're a little more picky, a little more cautious, even the smaller ones, they're learning. Um, and here I am teaching them at a very early age what to watch out for, right? So that's, that's, why, uh, that's why they're the hard catch. And uh, I, I did go out and try to catch some of the large largemouth I was seeing in the shallows for a little while. I spent 30 minutes tossing in a few of them, but um, I didn't have much luck there. Uh, this is a better mark right here. You guys see them? I was convinced there might be a few large crappie in here. Larger. There's one. I think that's what this was. This might have, this was either a large crappie or a brown large i say large like large for this brush pile not lake darbone large i don't think i caught any crappie over like 10 10 and a half inches out here there it goes dropping down so this is a different this is the same spot but i was coming from a different angle so when the bite kind of wore off a little bit i started attacking different parts of the brush pile so i was coming in from the sides um trying to get to different parts of it to different fish that may not have seen the lure yet there it is and you can do that um you know when when parts of it get pressured other parts of it may have no idea anything's going on so you know if, if some fish stop biting just go go from a different side that's a big brim right look at that that's a brim and so like i said i you know i just started attacking different parts of this thing in different ways and I got 10 crappie and four brim off the same brush pile and a few baby largemouth bass. It was a really fun day out here. I can't wait to get the motor broken in on this boat and put it to more good use. Um, there's another brim right there. And I plan on coming right back out here to this brush pile one day soon and bringing my kids with some worms or crickets and uh, letting them have some fun catching some brim. Well, that's the end of the video for today, guys. Um, I had a lot of fun and uh, I wanted to put this out there and I haven't been releasing much lately because I've been setting up a new boat and I had a wrist surgery, but um, I, I should be back in action now and uh, I'll, I'll be putting out some more soon. All right. Thanks to everybody for, uh, for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day. Bye guys.